Hi guys, Mrs. Elbitz here and welcome back to my channel. Let's begin. Right, let's do a three minute revision of Wiedenskap Manigis. This poem focuses on the contrast between how scientists view nature and the sun and how the speaker and her friends view nature and the sun and how they appreciate it. Um, the scientists are very analytical and look at theory and how the sun is going to shrink and then the implications of, of that on earth versus the speaker and her friends appreciating the here and now, looking at the beauty of the sunsets, the sunrises and seeing everything um, um, without trying to analyze it. The mood of this poem is philosophical, although there's also a little bit of uh, provocation happening here where your speaker is provoking um, scientists in, in her statements. She is um, evaluating the difference between how scientists uh, look at nature and how the speaker and her friends appreciate the beauty of it. The tone, it's very serious, um, in a way also looking down on the scientists. She dimin uh, diminishes their importance by using the diminutive form. So also linking to some negative feelings. The build of the poem, the outer build says that there's three stanzas and they are free verse, so nothing rhymes, and your stanzas have various lengths. But there are some binding elements that binds the poem together. Firstly, you've got um, rhyming words. Even though they don't rhyme with each other, all the way through you have certain words that rhyme with each other, like blue, gree, uh, glui, and scree in the, that one stanza. Um, and then you have enjambment, alliteracy, assonancy, binding the rest of the poem together. Your inner build of the poem um, has a argumentative, um, almost an argumentative speech. So you have stanza one describing the scientists and how they look at the sun. We've got stanza two describing the speaker and her friends and how they view it. And then three, you have the turn of the poem where it discusses how she really feels about science and how she chooses to love nature above um, the analytical life of scientists. This poem has a free verse for its rhyme scheme. When we go to the message of the poem, it says, don't, don't look at everything in a science way. Don't try and analyze things. Sometimes you just need to enjoy and appreciate the beauty of nature as it is. Um, it also speaks about the love of nature. And um, also when you look at the rest of this sentence here, it says that even though the speaker has failed science, she believes that she is way more happy than um, the scientists who spend their lives under telescopes. The theme of this poem, it's the negativity towards science and scientists. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you've got any questions, you can follow me on Instagram at Afrikaans Classroom. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like and share.